Hello everyone! Today I'll be teaching you how to hand build a clay mug. In this tutorial, I'll be using both the pinch pot and coil method to make a mug. The materials you need to make your mug are clay, canvas or something to place your mug on, a variety of clay tools, water or slip, and a wire cutter. To begin, take your clay and cut it using your wire cutter so you have a piece of clay a little larger than your fist. Begin to shape the clay into a ball by carefully throwing it back and forth between your hands. As you do this, rotate the clay to make a ball shape. For this project, I will be using a low fire white clay. To help shape the clay, it is helpful to use the palms of your hands. You can also roll the clay into a ball shape either on a table or between both of your hands. To start making the mug shape, insert your thumb into the center of the clay to create a hole. When you do this, you want to make sure to leave around half an inch of thickness at the bottom of the hole. Now, you will begin to pinch the clay using a crab claw motion. You will repeat this pinching motion around the walls of the clay. As you do this, continually rotate the clay in your hand to create an even thickness around half an inch. For this step, I recommend slowly pinching the clay to get it to the correct thickness. When you pinch the clay, if you apply more pressure from the inside of the mug, it will create a wider mug. If you apply more pressure from the outside of the mug, it will create a narrower mug. When you start to shape your mug, I recommend starting by applying more pressure from the outside of the mug. This is due to it being easier later on to widen the mug if desired. To help flatten the bottom of the mug, you can use your knuckles to press down into the clay as you rotate the mug. If you would like to make your mug taller, you can begin to add coils to it to add height. To make a coil, take a piece of clay and begin rolling it back and forth on your table to create a long snake shape. I like to start making my coils by placing my hands in the center of the clay. As I roll back and forth, I slowly separate my hands. Continue this step until you have created a coil between 3 fourths of an inch to half an inch in thickness. Now that you have created your coil, we are going to attach it to your mug base. This is done by using the slip and score technique. You will want to use a tool that has a sharp edge to it. Here I am using a scraper tool with a serrated edge. If you do not have one of these, you can use a knife or a needle tool. Using my scraper, I am going to roughen up the surfaces that will be connected. Once both surfaces are roughened up, I am going to add a little bit of water. You also may use slip instead of water. By roughening up both of the surfaces, we are making sure that the clay that is being attached will stay stuck together. We basically made a clay form of glue. Now we are ready to attach the coil to the mug base. Pick up the coil and wrap it around the top of the mug. Press down gently on the coil to make sure it is attached. You may need to trim the coil to make sure it is the correct size. Once the coil is on the mug, begin to smooth out the seam where the two pieces of clay were attached using your fingers. You will do this on both the inside and outside seam. To continue to add height to your mug, repeat this process as many times as needed. For my mug, I repeated this process two more times. Instead of using your fingers to smooth out the seam, you can also use certain clay tools. Here I am using a smoothed edge scraper to close the seam. Next, I used a damp sponge to smooth out the clay. 
I also went ahead and slightly widened the mug by applying pressure from the inside with the sponge while slowly rotating it. Next, we are going to trim the mug. Using my needle tool, I am going to draw a line around the mug at the desired height. For this, I hold the needle tool very steadily in one hand. I lean my forearm on the table ledge to help it stay at the same height. With my other hand, I rotate the mug. Once you have the height line drawn on the mug, use a knife to cut through the clay on the line. After the mug has been trimmed, use your fingers or a sponge to smooth out the rim of the mug. It is time to make the handle. Taking a new piece of clay, roll out a coil that is around 3 fourths inch thick. Once you have the coil, bend it into the desired shape and cut it to the correct size. To add the handle, mark on the mug where you want it to go by holding it up to it and by adding a line with the needle tool. To make sure the handle was lay attached to your mug, use the slip and score technique. Rough up the end of the handle and the spots you marked on your mug. Firmly attach the handle and smooth out the area around it. If you have more time, I recommend letting the handle air dry for around 30 minutes to an hour. This will allow the handle to hold its shape better when attaching. If your handle begins to bend, you can prop it up with a lump of clay as it dries just like in the video. Since this piece of clay was not scored and slipped, it will not stick to the handle once dried. And that is how you make a basic clay mug. Now it is time to use your imagination to decorate the mug. Once the mug is fully dry, you will not be able to add any more clay details to the mug. Thank you for watching.